this a brew here. Where's Charlie? I want 400 people to forget about our big hats. Forget about how well dressed you are. If you are too dressed up to praise God, you are too dressed up. I want you to stand up and turn around and say, I'm going to get a blessing here tonight. And then look at somebody and say, victory is mine. Everybody said, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I'm going to lift your hand and shout, glory to God. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> oh, one more time. Hallelujah. <laughs> Presiding Bishop, Bishop Owens, Bishop Haynes, Bishop Bo T. Jones, Bishop Brooks, all the members of the general board, general secretary, chairman of the board of bishops and vice chairman, and to all you lovely people of God. I'm so full tonight said, I can't hardly talk. This time last year, I was at death's door. They had given me up to die. It spread all over the country that Charlie Brewer is on his way out. But there's one thing I've found out. It's not over till God says it's over. <laughs> Preaching 40 years, telling folk to believe God, laid in intensive care 31 days, fever 104, bed sores on my body, beating to put your fist in. Caught, had a disease called sepsis, totally paralyzed, no upward mobility and no lower mobility. But there is a God. Night after night, I would lay in my hospital room, crying, felt like, Lord, where are you? But somewhere I read, they that wait upon the Lord, he shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings of an eagle. They shall walk and not faint. They shall run and not be weary. 
And sometimes there's a waiting process. You wonder, oh Lord, where are you? And I thought about the old story that Lazarus met the sisters outside the city. And they said, oh Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have passed on. But I heard your Lord and my Savior said, thy brother shall rise again. And I know he's talking about. He said, I am the resurrection and I am the light. He that believe on me, though he were dead, yet shall he live again. And he prayed one prayer. Father, I thank thee. I know thou hearest me always, and thou hearest me even now. And I come to tell you, don't wait till the battle is over, but shout now. Yes! You got a right to praise him. You got a right to shout. Look where God brought you from. And I come to tell you, the Lord healed my body. If don't nobody praise God, I'm telling God yes to your will. Yes to your way. And for some reason, I'm led tonight to tell you in this building, put your hand where you're hurting at. And I come to tell you, turn around and tell your neighbor now, the devil is a liar. To live and not die. I'm healed. So God says I'm healed. Yeah! Someone said, Look at Brew Hopper. Yeah, I'm hopping, but I ain't stopping. Hallelujah. And I come to tell you, there's no need to worry about your condition. The words a weeping may endure for a night, but joy is coming in the morning. I don't know when morning is, but all I know, one day I'll be caught up above cancer, caught up above heart trouble, caught up above all disease. Yeah!
Wash me all again. Wash me all again in your prayer. Fresh as blood. Wash me all. Let me hear the whole church say, wash me over again. Sisters, the Lord uh, has in store for us a tremendous blessing. One of the very, very fine sons of the church, one of the world's great preachers, Dr. Joseph Clemens. We thank God for Brother Joseph Clemens, a preacher extraordinaire. But the Lord has blessed him and brought him to the kingdom for such a time as this. Doctor, will you come forth? Let me hear you say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me hear you say I am blessed. I am blessed. Let me hear you say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Let me Never alone, never alone, he walks with me. 